Hi guys, it's Shauna. Welcome to my kitchen. I have to test out my ice cream cake pan and what better time to do it than right now because I've been putting it off and putting it off. I've just been so darn busy lately. We're cheating a little bit using a cake mix. Just do that until it's mixed and while we're waiting we're just going to take a little bit of butter and we're going to butter the inside of our um, cake pan here this is all made of silicone and the bottom is made of this gorgeous ceramic so another little trick I've been baking I'm like I love baking um, for greasing your pans take a little zippered bag a sandwich bag and then just uh, pick up a little bit of butter with your sandwich bag and it works awesome for greasing your pans and then you can just toss it and you're done. So as some of my consultant friends have said that you don't need to actually um, butter this before baking in it, but I'm one of, I'm one of those people who rather be safe than sorry and wishing I had. So we're just gonna give it a light buttering. So we are making strawberry crunch cake. It sounds amazing. It's going to be using those little pink wafer cookies that everybody loves so much. And some homemade strawberry ice cream and some homemade strawberry syrup. So, you know, I don't feel so bad that we're, <laughs> we're cheating a little bit and using a store-bought boxed cake mix. So we're just going to add that to the pan. Okay, and we're going to bake that according to directions. Um, let's see. Probably about, I'm going to say 40 minutes. I don't know. I'll keep track and I'll let you know what um, our cake mix, how long it took in the oven. Alrighty, see you soon. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have just pulled the cake out of the oven. It's had a few minutes to uh, kind of rest and cool just a teeny bit. So I'm gonna. Just, we're gonna attempt to take off this silicone um, sleeve. So we just pull up the clip. Too easy. And in a perfect world, this should just come right off. That looks really nice still hot but it's not bad look at that there we go. so we're done with the silicone sleeve for now and I'll wash that up this afternoon while our cake cools but we want to make sure this is really really cool we don't need any heat coming off of that um, I think this is going to be fantastic. Um, next step of our um, ice cream cake is we're going to cut the cake. So it's cooled now. It's been cooling for about an hour. Um, easiest way to cut a cake would be if you do have a cake leveler or to get like a long serrated bread knife. That would work really well too and then just kind of eyeball it. Um, we're looking for half an inch. assemble it. We're just going to put it on our tray. So, so try to get some crumbs out of there. Okay, so that's the base. We'll do it again. We want one more layer. So guys, this is gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, silicone wrapper back on it. And we're going to put that in the refrigerator now. Um, when I'm ready to assemble the cake with the ice cream, 
I'm going to um, pop it, the bottom two pieces, in the freezer for about 15 minutes, just so it gets really, really cold and dense. It comes with a lid. This lid is not oven safe, so it's not for baking purposes. It is just for storage. Alright, we're on to our next step of our cake. We are making some homemade strawberry ice cream. Um, we could definitely use store-bought strawberry ice cream, but if you have the tools, let's do it. Um, so that's going to be delicious. Um, in our strawberry crunch cake, it calls for those little pink cookies. Um, now they have since changed the pink cookies recipe so that they don't have all that food coloring in there. So I'm okay with that. Um, it won't be as pink in our cake um, final product, but that's okay. So you don't want them like really fine or anything, just a little kind of crushed up. Going to be our topping. There we go. So we we did uh, when we made the ice cream, we had to chop up a cup of strawberries with sugar and whatnot. So it actually made this beautiful syrup. Okay, so we're going to be pouring that over the bottom half of our cake. Oh, our ice cream is so close to being done. So we're actually going to poke some holes in here just with a fork just so that it can kind of soak down and absorb into the cake. And we're going to be putting a quarter cup of that strawberry syrup. cream is just about to finish and it just stops once it hits zero so let's check that out turn off the power unplug oh yeah look at that it looks amazing Set this part aside. Oh my goodness, let's try this. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is the second time I made this strawberry. It's really, really, really delicious. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of a soft serve consistency. If you want it to harden up a little bit, you can pop this whole base with the silicone lid right into the freezer to firm up a little bit but that looks pretty good for what we're looking for for our ice cream cake we want it to be a little bit soft so that it's kind of oozes out in the cake okay. and then we're gonna put in half of our crunchy toppings ice cream in that. Oops. Oh no. I did. I totally did. I put too much ice cream in. Oh, I forgot to poke it too. So poke, 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 poke. Just so that there's lots of holes and spots for the syrup to run off to. Pour in the rest. 
I don't know. I've never done this before, my friends. I have no clue what I'm doing. Just saying. <laughs> if it's a fail, it's not my fault. I'll put a teeny little bit of ice cream on top. Because there's like no room left. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. There we go. A little bit of ice cream. Oh, this is pretty full. Oh, this is going to be so good. And the rest of our crunchies. Oh my goodness, this is so full. <laughs> Spread that out a little bit. Apparently this is supposed to taste like those strawberry shortcake popsicle bars that everybody loves so much carefully pop the lid on. Oh my goodness, it's so full. It doesn't even want to go on. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. I love how you guys get to see all of my fails in progress. Well, there we go. I'm going to pop that right in the freezer. Four hours. We are not going to try and cheat and take it out early. But uh, wish me luck. I'll show you the end product later. Take care. Talk to you later. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to the big reveal of my ice cream cake. So, let's take off the lid. Okay, it feels kind of firm-ish. Hopefully it's done. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. It looks good. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. Okay. So let's try cutting into it. Let me get a plate first. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. It looks so pretty. Mm. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Strawberry crunch ice cream cake. 